Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about working with data in Excel. The first thing I'm going to do is calculate the average of each individual data sets. And to calculate average, you just start typing an average into the cell and the formula comes up. And then you select your numbers. And once you find the average for one data set, you can drag it and it'll copy the function down. The next thing I'm going to calculate is standard error. And the best place to find that is in the formula tab. And here's the one you want to use. And then you select your data again. And so that's your standard error. And once again, you can drag that down. Now to calculate standard error, that is equal to the standard deviation divided by the square root of of the number of trials you did for each data set. So for this one, we have three. So I do the square root of 3. And then once again, I can drag the bar down. Okay, so here's the standard error, and this would be used for error bars when you make a graph. So now I'm going to actually make a graph, and I have the data set up. You want to have it set up right, so you have the right line going up, and you can make your data, or make your error bars. So here I have the concentration, the density, and the error. So first I'm going to insert a graph with just this data. And you go to the insert tab and you want to do a scatter plot. And you want the one without the lines for, at first. Okay. So here's my lovely graph. And I'm going to go ahead and insert, you can add trend line and you want it to be linear and most of the time you want to display the equation of the line and the R squared value and the R squared value tells you how correlated the data is and the closer the value to 1 the better the correlation as you can see here the correlation here is it's 0.99 so it's about as close as you can get okay and now I'm going to insert error bars and to do that you go to layout error bars and you want to go to more error bar options more error bars options and you do a custom value let me move this over here okay specify the value and for the plus value we do all of these and then for the minus you would also do the same numbers so okay now sometimes you might end up with horizontal error bars that just show up. It's a, I think it's just an automatic default thing, and so you'd have to specify those to get rid of them. Okay, so you could click on them and format the error bars and make the fixed value zero. That's one way to get rid of them. Or you can change your settings, whichever one you want to do. Okay, so here are the error bars. As you can see, most of them are really small, but the error is also really small until you get to the very last one where you can see the error bar. Okay, and now you can add um, you can add the axis labels. Okay, so if you want to add a horizontal axis title below, it shows up here, and then you can add another vertical axis rotated for the side. And you just want to make your graph look really nice. You can change the width of your legend, but sometimes that gets rid of your actual legend material or what it's supposed to be labeling. And okay. Oh, I can also talk about if you have an unknown value. So here we had it, that was the standard curve on the previous page right here. That's the standard curve. And here are the unknown solutions. So we want to figure out, say, what the concentration is. So we found the average optical density, and we plugged that into the formula on the standard graph. And we found the concentrations. So now, if we want to plot these random points to show where we found our data, we can go right-click, select data, we can add a series, and let's say this is the stock. And the x value is here, and the y value is here and then now you can see you have a dot here with the stock on the line so that's how you can mark your unknown data 
You can do that with each point, which I'm not going to do, but after you put the point on there, you most of the time you want to mark it with a line to show where it lines up on the axis. So you go to insert shape and you can draw a line and you want to make it as straight as possible and drag it down and then you can go edit it and make it the color of your dot and then you want to insert another line you make this one go across and you can change that color too. So now you have your unknown data marked on your standard curve with error bars. Okay guys, that's all.